I filmed the whole video about this. I would be telling you that most AI startups do exactly the same, say exactly the same, or are based on the same technology. And some even look like scams or are actual scams. But you already know that. Last minute, I scraped that whole video because who am I to bash these startups for trying to do something new or jumping on a trend even if they are doing bad job. And also in that video, I didn't really address why in the first place I spent 100 hours testing a writing tools. If you want to skip this part and jump into some gems that I discovered, you can click this timestamp. But if you stay for a second with me, I would really appreciate that. First of all, I looked at a writing tools and not image or video generation because not everyone is creating images or a video but every single person is using writing or text in their jobs or simply everyday life. Second of all, tomorrow, August 21st, starts AI and ChatGPT for Everyone Core Eyes, now up limit, course. And today is the last day to sign up if you are interested. It is live cohort-based course lasting three weeks. And maybe it is my nervousness, insecurity, or simply imposter syndrome, but I wanted personally to understand how does the AI writing space look like. At the end of the day, it is large language models and text is a huge component of that. And my idea was that for students in a course, if they have any questions of what is out there, what can I use, that I would be able to personally guide them and support them and provide this resource. But last minute, I decided that I'm not going to keep this for a course only. You can download it for free in the description box below. If you like, you can leave me a tip. And the reality is that we have only 42 spots left in a course. So if you already joined, I'm excited to see you there. And Wes is going to do a phenomenal job teaching. The whole team at SimpMinds worked really hard to put everything that we know into this course and also getting validation from CoreEyes, which is used by large companies like Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, you name it. It was a lot of work, but also really exciting. And testing all these tools personally was incredibly annoying. So far, I tried out 320, and I feel like I'm losing my mind and time consuming, but I'm really happy I did that. So this is going to be a speed run of some of interesting use cases that I discovered. None of companies mentioned sponsoring this video and by the principle, there are no affiliate links. To collect 432 tools, I used free web scraper. There are many AI tools databases, but I found gpte.ai to have the biggest amount of them. The first one up is Kindred Tales. You can now create memoir and get it printed in a book using AI. Second one, which caught my eye, is Lettergram. This is actual AI letters that get sent into your post box and you can interact with them. Next one is WriteMage. You can integrate ChatGPT into your Mac or iOS natively. For academic writing, you can use writeful.com. And it seems to be free, at least for students. They also have enterprise level tools. We have AppCAD for writing cover letters. The Drive AI allows you to storage your brain, store and then read and then write all in one place based on your content. You can use Solve Intelligence to write patterns now. And Synapse is a tool which allows you to generate unique, outstanding ideas with AI. We also have Peer, which is an app where you can write spicy stories. Novel AI is for writing novels. Narrative BI allows you to receive valuable insights from your marketing or content data. Gemma.ai claims to be an alternative to Jasper. Genie allows you to research faster and summarize blogs, articles, and reports. Filmflow is very interesting use case. It visualizes the storylines of movies, and you need to use OpenAI key to use it. We have an extension for writing copy with AI in Figma and FigJam. Essay Builder does what it says, allows you to write essays. Once again, we have personal AI writing for Mac. 
Edit GPT allows you to edit text inside ChatGPT, so think about it like Grammarly, but for ChatGPT content. DocuDo is AI assistant for technical writers. DigitalFirst.ai is a tool which allows you to create and execute marketing plans. Briefly allows you to write briefs. HeroGuide.ai is a tool that you paste everything about your business and it will execute brand story for you. Bettersynonyms.com is a very simple way to get synonyms in a specific context. Artically automates your blog writing. Asterix allows you to edit your text like you would be editing your photos. And Iter allows you to create ads just from the URL link. And of course, this is just scratching the surface. There are so many tools and use cases that you can check out in the description box below. And you can watch this video where I share one prompt which turns ChatGPT into AutoGPT.